Hey y'all, it's Bill Lawler. Just wanted to give you a brief post-surgery update to let you know how I'm doing. I've had three surgeries back to back, uh, one a week. I had one on uh, a Monday. The second week it was a Tuesday and then this, this uh, last week it was a Tuesday also. And then Tuesday of this week, I went in, this will be my fourth time to go in. Uh, I went in to get my stitches out of my nose um, and got that taken care of. So you can see this is my, my first surgery. It's almost completely invisible. My second one is a little bit lower. It's still a little bit red. And then the one on my nose, you can only see about half of the incision. The incision actually started up here and goes down and you can start seeing the curve. They had to create a flap is what they do. Uh, they create a flap so they can stretch it up over the defect once they cut out the cancer. Now it took two attempts to get all of it this time. Uh, sometimes on a Mohs procedure, the surgeon will go in and the very first time he'll get enough uh, material where all the margins are clear of cancer, cancerous skin cells, and then they can um, sew you right up. This time it took two visits to the surgeon. So what they do is they, they, they do the initial prep, uh, numb the area, then the surgeon comes in, he's there maybe 60 seconds, no kidding, uh, it's quick. And he scoops out a little bit of tissue and he takes that and it gets queued up in the lab where he then, uh, I'm sure he probably takes the lab in several series um, where he does a whole batch at one time. So. After looking at it, he found one little spot that he needed to go deeper. It was almost like it had a root to it. And so he, he, he measured and found one little spot. He went in and he got that part out. He came back again, checked it in the lab again under the microscope, and he was able to declare that he had all he had removed all the cancer cells. So looks like I'm done for at least six months, I hope. <laughs> I tell you what though, the nose is has to be the worst place to have a Mohs procedure. I got a Mohs on the nose. <laughs> uh, it hurt like hell. The only painful part of it is getting those injections where they they put that uh, inject this stuff into your skin to make the area numb so that they can then go in and cut without you going through the roof. The first sample that he took, I must have had about, about a dozen or so injections. Um, no problem at all went out in the waiting room, but I had to wait three hours for the second round. They called me back. I was hoping they were going to say we're all clear, but they said we got a little bit more to do. So they had to redo the injections to get that area numb enough so the doctor could go deeper. Um, only maybe six or eight injections was all it took to get that area numb again. Then I had to go back out to the waiting room, and this time I waited about two hours. And they brought me back in and said, well, we got it all. Uh, now it's time to stitch you up. Well, you know, I just really didn't, uh, I wasn't expecting this, but the, uh, the registered nurse who was responsible for prepping me for the stitching procedure, she got the needle again. You know, it'd been two hours. I'd I'd lost a lot of that numbness, 
and she started injecting me, and I'm not kidding you, I bet she injected me two dozen to three dozen times uh, because she knew that he was going to have to cut. Uh, you know, initially the defect was just a little round spot on the tip of my nose. But she knew that he was going to have to cut way up and then come down and make a little flap so that he could stretch that over the defect. And so that's what he, that's what she did. And I am not kidding, it was rough. It was really, really painful. But then once that was done, the doc came in, he, he does the interior stitches. And then the nurse did the exterior stitches. And I just got those out, uh, today's Friday. I got those out on Tuesday. So it's been maybe three days and it's looking better. Uh, I don't have to worry about freaking everybody out in the grocery store when I go in now. It's not quite so bad. And I could even put a small band-aid or something on it um, if I thought there were going to be, you know, children or people with a squeamish <laughs> constitution. Anyway. Uh, that's kind of where we're at. Happy to be done with this stuff for a while. It is no fun. And I tell you, uh, skin cancer is, it is, can be deadly. And so if you have any or suspect yourself of having any, please go see somebody and get it done. All right. Well, listen, this is going to be a short video. So I'm just going to say bye for now. Take care. We'll see you soon.